is up guys and girls, this is Glenn here in an abandoned skate park. <laughs> For yet another Rope Rage video. Today we're going to be looking at an explosive, powerful jump rope technique that targets the legs. It's a technique that you might have seen quite a bit on this channel, it's a technique that's been discussed quite a bit on this channel and the tutorial has been requested quite a bit on this channel as well. That technique is the rock star. So first, before I get into it, I want to give a big shout to Vera, to Salamander also um, here on YouTube and whoever else has requested it. There have been quite a few requests. So I want to thank you for that because if it weren't for those requests, these tutorials probably wouldn't get done. So keep those coming in. It gives me more ideas to put stuff together for you guys. So the rock star, why is it called the rock star? I hear you ask and it's a good question. The first reason is that it looks cool as f The second reason is that I really didn't have any idea what to call it without having a long drawn out name like jumping lunge swing or something like that is a bit a bit of a clumsy word so I thought I'd just put it out there ask a few of the people on the Instagram account what they thought and if they could suggest some names and the rock star really was the name that I liked the most so I actually don't remember who suggested it which is quite bad but big shout to you thank you for doing that so let's try and get into this as quickly as possible we're gonna do this in five progressions it's not going to happen overnight it has to be done in steps because it's a technique that that needs some patience it, it, it needs some care and will probably be a bit frustrating along the way so we want to progress step by step rather than just going all out and trying to get it off the bat first thing we want to establish though before we get into anything at all this really is something you want to do in a large uh, space you don't want to do it in an enclosed space I wouldn't recommend trying it in like a crowded gym or um, at home in, in your living room or something unless you want to smash your TV screen or you want your rope to fly across the room and hit someone else in the gym I doubt you guys want that you seem to be a nice bunch of people the reason being is that this this technique has to happen quickly because the switch happens in midair it has to happen quite quickly and so what that means is there's a lot of force generated and if you slip up namely if you lose control of the rope that rope is going to go flying as you can see demonstrated here now, i doubt anyone wants that so try and train in like a park a uh, a large space where there's a lot of room for error so you can really go wild and um, experiment with trying to get as far as possible along the progression ladder as you can and eventually getting to the top where you're able to just swing through the rock star and it is a really cool technique to look at a really tough technique too so a good workout all right so enough jabbering from me jabbering or yabbering it's a word now if it wasn't before. Enough jabbering for me, we're gonna go straight into the progressions. Progression number one, we need to work on our alternating lunges. So we don't even want the rope. For most techniques involving footwork, we start without the rope anyway, so that we can understand how to move through the footwork pads. You wanna get those lunges nice and deep, and you wanna be at a point where you can switch from right in front to left in front, and have no real trouble at all. You want to be able to switch pretty freely. So work on that for a little while. Once you're confident with that, you wanna then move on to introducing the rope. The way we're gonna do this is we're gonna use the sword swing technique through the body. If you remember from a previous video looking at the sword swing in detail, we talked about how you can do the sword swing in front of the body, behind the body, and through the body. And as a rule of thumb, you can do sword swings in front of the body. You can do them behind the body.
and you can do them through the body which is underneath the legs uh, this specific technique pertains to the rock star technique which we'll be going through in a future video for the rock star you need to do the sword swing through the body that means underneath the legs in midair so you want to work to a point where you're able to switch between right and left hand pretty easily without much fuss do that for some time and then once you're adept with that you can move on to the next progression step Progression step number three, you're going to carry on with your sword swing, but for each swing you're going to add a jump as you transition between the feet. So we're really getting our mind used to jumping with each uh, sword swing through the body, which we're eventually going to use as we do the rock star. So do some jumps with each rotation, with each repetition, and that will be progression step three as soon as you're fully comfortable with that. Progression step four is to actually do some real jumping, but you're going to jump a bit higher and as you switch the feet in the air, pass the rope between the feet and as you catch it in the other hand, I want you to stop at that rep. Don't try and go for the next one. Stop, keep the rope rotating in, in the second hand that you've transferred it to, to steady yourself, to get your timing right because if you try and just bomb into switching left and right immediately, you might whip yourself with the rope, which will come as a result of not having that steady 90 degree rotation as the rope, is, as the rope handle is pointed out from a 90 degree angle. We're really messing with the angles quite a bit as we're transferring this um, rope between our legs, so we need to be sure we're steady before we go into the next one. So this is probably going to be the longest progression step. You're doing your sword swing as you jump in midair, and then as you land, you're holding onto that rope, you're keeping it rotating until you're steady to go into the next step. Once you're comfortable with that, doing it on the left side, doing it on the right side, you're then going to progress to the full rock star, which is the sword swing in midair as you alternate the lunge and on each repetition you're going to bounce up again and switch the hands once again, switching the feet also. So as you land, you're jumping immediately afterwards. You're not resting to keep that rope spinning. You're jumping immediately and the rope is coming through again over to the opposite side. So if it was on your left, it's coming through to the right and vice versa once again. <laughs> Alright, so that's about it. That's the rock star. Five progression steps. So that's about it. That's the rock star in five progression steps. Be patient. Take it easy. Remember to start learning in a in a nice open space because we don't want any um, <laughs> any casualties in the gym or any smash TV screens at home or anything like that. And you'll know what I mean. As you start to learn this, you'll realize that oh shit. Glenn was right, that rope does go flying across if I don't get the switch over 100% right. So it is all a progression though. You will, get, you will get a better grip for the rope and it will become a lot easier. So just take the steps. Do let me know how you get on, keep me updated. I'm always there to you know drop some advice here and there if you need to. Um, so thank you once again. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you liked it, please do hit that like button. If there are other tutorials you want to see in the future, drop that down below in the comments section. I will get back to you, of course. And um, don't forget the subscription as well and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any videos. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day once again. Until next time, all the best with your training and stay raging. You must subscribe. If you don't, we have no videos. <laughs> subscribe to this video once again. Subscribe. That's it. Thank and you. And 
subscribe for all the videos that we watch. If it's finished, we get more videos coming on. Yep. So subscribe to all of the videos that we watched. You must subscribe. Press the press button and then you will see all the different kind of buttons you want to press. You can press which one is your favourite one, then you can choose which one is your favourite one. You have to learn and you have to train so you can get big. Yeah. Subscribe! <laughs>